Bunkers are a fundamental part of building in Rust, and because many of the most popular types of bunkers have been patched in the recent updates, I figured now would be a good time to show you guys the three most popular and most importantly, still working bunkers of 2024 Rust. I'll be listing the pros and cons of each bunker, as well as my personal opinion of each. After that, I'll walk you through how to build each bunker so you can incorporate them into your own base. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. Starting with the OG stability bunker, this bunker has been around for years, so it's very unlikely it'd be patched anytime soon. It's also really easy to build and can be incorporated into a lot of bases, especially for beginners trying building. Some of the cons are it has a pretty big footprint requiring multiple foundations. It's also soft sidable from the outside and you have to leave the core to seal it. It's also pretty difficult to maneuver through, especially if you're playing in a larger group. So just keep that in mind if you want to build this bunker. Next is the roof bunker. This uses two roofs to create a seal. It's pretty easy to build and it's very cheap to seal, only requiring a piece of twig above the roof to seal it. One of the cons is it's pretty hard to hide because of the roofs that stick through the sides and it's basically only usable on this two x two frame. Finally, we have the offset bunker. This bunker is the best in my opinion. It's completely hidden anywhere besides the bunker. It's very small and can be added to pretty much any base design. The only con with it is that it's extremely difficult to build, but if you can get past that learning curve, it's a really, really good option to add to almost any base in Rust. Now to build the stability bunker, you really don't need too much. You wanna start by placing two low foundations like this pretty close to the ground. On one side, you want to have two triangles like this. This would be the outside of your bunker, and these need to be armored because they are soft sidable. If you're worried about someone soft siding, you can always go ahead and uh, place half walls like this and cover them up, but that is kind of a pain and takes a lot of resources, so I usually don't. Uh, these can just be upgraded to stone. They really don't need to be strong at all. And then depending on your base design, you can have squares or triangles on the other side like this. This would be inside the core of your base. After that, you want to wall in your core and then place a temporary half wall here with a wall on top of it. You can go ahead and demolish this wall for now. And this is how you get in and out of your bunker. As you can see, just like this, this is your normal bunker. And simply to seal it, you just place a half wall like this. Make sure the soft side is facing inward so it's a little bit easier to break. Place this here and upgrade it. Now your bunker is sealed. If a raider comes to see your base, they see this fully walled off core and a floor right here, which they can't get through. Now to unseal it, obviously you spawn on your bag inside the core and you come on here with a spear or any sort of weapon and break this. And that will break this triangle floor here and you'll have a way in and out of your base. Now the roof bunker is a little bit more specific. You wanna start by placing two foundations like this and then two raised to the side. Uh, I'm just gonna upgrade everything to armored. And then you know, to wall in the whole rest of the space here, uh, right here, you just wanna place a roof. So you wanna place this wall first, then you can place the roof. This is kind of your bunker area. Half wall this so it all is level. This floor here with another half wall and then seal everything off like this if you're wondering on how to get out of the bunker you just place a equal tier wall uh ramp right here it has to be the same tier as this so if i upgrade this to wood you'll see that it'll automatically seal it i need to upgrade this to wood for it to unseal i would recommend this being at least uh sheet metal if not high qual it depends on what your core is And then to seal it, all you need to do is place a low wall right here, and it seals up the bunker. Now for this last bunker, I'm starting with a core that looks like this. It might seem a little weird, but just trust me on this. You want to make a circle base with this foundation missing, this wall not here, and then these two ceilings could also not be here. And then you want to have a floor triangle piece right here. And then I'll show you how to build the bunker. Uh, there's multiple ways you can build out from this. I'll have a link to a couple other videos that go a little bit more in depth on this bunker design because it is a pretty confusing style of bunker. 
but it's in my opinion the best once you have it built so to start you want to place a triangle here a square here and then go out 15 triangles to the right all the way that way place a square here and then demolish everything going back towards the base now you can build back with squares and then place your last triangle here making sure this stone texture is in this corner once that's done you can upgrade this break all your squares and then do it again 15 triangles that way Then you can go ahead and place a wall here and then place a triangle from outside like that. Go ahead and hop on the roof, place another triangle right here. And you should be able to place a triangle here, but it will break. If you can place that here, you go ahead to upgrade that. And then to finally get the bunker to seal, you want to place a big doorway or door frame here. Make sure you're standing on this triangle and just place a triangle in here upgrade it and you're all good i normally don't like to do this but i just saw that only two percent of my viewers are actually subscribed so if you like this video and you want to see more it would mean a lot to me if you could subscribe anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys in the next one